you can use wfos to fos directories subdomains and files let's check help page for wfos there are different options but uh, the ones that we want to use are uh, dash c or tag c to, uh, for colorizing the output dash v for verbose dash l for following http redirections dash uh, u to uh, specify the url it's a must you cannot uh, avoid this flag dash uh, w to specify a word list file sometimes you may want to use dash x to use methods like get or post or head uh, dash h capital h for uh, using headers and uh, dash dash h c or h l h w h h to hide responses with the specified code, lines, words, or characters, or even dash dash s c s l s w s h to show responses. Now let's uh, let's uh, pause yahoo.com here you see that I use a dash u to specify the URL and the word FOS in capital to FOS the directories after subdomains I can use it uh, somewhere else for example if I want to uh, was a subdirectory like list and everything after list I can use the word pause here or if if I want to use uh, for example uh, w pause to pause some files I can do it for example we have a uh, image directory and I want to for, uh, to find every file with a .png extension so I use wfiles.png or even uh, xml, php or whatever extension now we want to find uh, directories after the domain yahoo.com I specify dash w to in fact uh, I use dash w to uh, specify a word list you can use different word list uh, it depends on what you want uh, what what the website is you may sometimes want to use the words from the website itself you you can use Q tool to collect all the words from the website and use those words for example to uh, for fuzzing directories subdomains or even uh, even uh, brute, for, brute forcing uh, usernames on the login page but here let's uh, use sec list fuzz boom uh, uh, list it it's a, a small word list and it has about 4000 words I use tag C to colorize the output it's enough for now let's hit enter and you see that uh, we get 301 responses this column the first column show us uh, let me cancel W fuzz the first column show us the number of the words and this column show us 
the payload or the words that uh, WFAS is using to avoid seeing uh, 301 responses I can use dash dash HC and 301 if there are many responses that I want to hide I can use comma as a separator and for example I want to hide 301 404 responses so I can use dash dash HC 301 comma 404 This time I'm going to save the output with T. I can use the greater than sign to save the output, but uh, T two shows you the output, and at the same time save the output. This is the way that I. Uh, save the output and here you see that the output is colorized because we use tag C and uh, 301 responses are not listed because uh, we hide them with uh, dash dash HC option I even can use a dash dash SC to show uh, a specific response, for example, 200. Let's use dash dash SC to show 200 responses. And again, W for uh, stop showing us. Uh, 301 responses here but let me use another uh, word list I have a word list here uh, which has some few words I delete uh, dash dash sc option okay. I get 301 responses again but uh, what is exactly 301 response to uh, to check different responses you can use uh, httpstatuses.com it shows you different http status codes with their meanings for example here 301 means moved permanently it means that uh, when we when uh, wfaz check for gmail or email uh, the result uh, redirects to another page which uh, wfaz don't follow if you want to if you want uh, wfaz to follow directories we can use tag l if you remember tag l was for following http redirections here So, so this time I use a uh, tag capital L the word list has two 12 uh, words we got some 404 results and four 200 results Let's check one of them to see if uh, this uh, this 
directory is really exist. And as you see, we redirect it to www.yahoo.com news. So it exists and the WFAS works correctly. Now let's use WFAS to FAS subdomains. We again uh, use tag view to uh, specify the URL HTTP, uh, HTTPS yahoo.com. This time I'm not going to use the word FAS here. We use the URL as it is and here we use dash H. If you remember dash H was for uh, headers. So we use dash H, a single quote, host, column, and now I use double, uh, I use the word fuzz dot yahoo dot com and the single quote. If I wanted to uh, fuzzing, if I wanted to fuzz. A subdomain like uh, for example uh, image dot yahoo dot com I could do it it, uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter how uh, how long the the URL is and how many subdomains uh, are in front of you I specify a word list. Again, I use a set list, but this time we go for subdomains top one million. This is the name of the uh, word list, but uh, five thousand words. Here you see that. Uh, there is a file with 5,000 words, 20,000 words, and 110,000 words. You can use uh, different word lists, not only from set lists. There are many uh, word lists for fuzzing subdomains, but we use uh, we use this one. I colorize the output again, and let's. See the results. As you see, we get some uh, 301 responses and some 200 responses. So now let me let me. Hide 301 responses HC 301. But if you are using uh, WFAS for on some platforms like Hack the Box, you may want to not hide uh, 301 responses or 302 responses. Now uh, let's hide 301 responses, or we can use dash SC 200. Okay. Uh, to see only 200 uh, responses I'm going to save the output for WFAS this is the way that I save the output This word list has uh, 4,997 
Вот. And these are the subdomains that uh, WFAS has found successfully. All of them are for uh, for different countries. For example, DE for Deutschland or German, Germany, Italy, France, United States, and the others. Let's check this one. To see if uh, this subdomain exists on yahoo.com. Now you know how to use WFAS to FAS directories, subdomains, and files.